Hey guys and girls, Nathan Birch here. Just want to touch base and say Merry Christmas first of all, and the second one is Happy New Year. I uh, always uh, like to make a video uh, as it comes to New Year's Eve just to talk about you know, the year that's been and the year that's ahead. Uh, obviously, you know, each year we make, you know, most people make New Year's resolutions and all that sort of stuff, but it's a commitment that you have to that throughout the year. And the reason why I wanted to jump on the camera uh, while I'm driving is to, you know, get you to have a reality check for 2015. How did you fare up? You know, did you have a, a piece of paper you wrote some goals on? Did you have an Excel spreadsheet you wrote goals on at the start of the year? Uh, is there some things that you wanted to achieve last year? Did you achieve what you set out to achieve? And what actions did you take? Uh, you know, I always say it openly, uh, the week between Christmas and New Year's, I lock myself away uh, and I, you know, review my goals that I had for the year that's gone uh, and obviously look at what I want to do for the year ahead and it's quite interesting this year is the first year in a very long time I sat there and I looked at all my goals now for the last decade or 12 years or so and it's interesting the stuff that I said you know we don't always achieve what we set out to in a year however the the reality of it is looking back in the past everything I said I was going to set out to achieve uh, going back 10 years ago, you know, if it didn't happen one year, it happened the next year and the following year. And if you've got a worthy enough goal and a, a goal that you know you want bad enough, you will make it happen. It's just a matter of you know being committed to it and having a plan. And the other note that I make on, on goals is looking back at my goals and when I write my goals. People ask me, Nathan, how do you you know, playing goals and all that sort of stuff. You know, you can go on YouTube and, and Google and find out how to write goals or whatever. I look at my goals as things that I must achieve in my life. Am I happy with the position that I'm at at the moment or do I want something different? And, you know, that's what's given me the ability to live life on my terms is that, you know, I make a decision. You know, people often ask how, how easy is it to be successful? You know, I, I try this, I try that. The way to become successful in whatever way of your life it is, whether it be property, whether it be home life, whether it be in your job, whether it be you know, the things that you want to do, is to make a decision, a decision to change and grow to the next level of being where you want to be. So for me, I look at myself all the time as a little baby and every three months the baby develops and I look at everything I do in my life, I want to keep developing that. So I look at the goals as the end goal. So I'll set out um, my year as a to-do list. So there's certain actions that I need to do and I drew an action plan for that. So it's basically a big to-do list and it's not like, fuck, this is too hard or whatever the case may be. There will become things in your lives um, which will hold us back in times, whether it be family or health or you know car breaking down or whatever the case may be. But it's important that you stick close to your goals. You can either sit there and blame this is the excuse for why I didn't do what I did or whatever the case may be, or you can take action and go, shit, I need to pick myself up and get back to, you know, the grind of making things happen. And from from my perspective, I look at my goals as a to-do list. So if I've got a goal, you know, two-year goal, 12 months goal, five-year goal, 10-year goal, I look at each step along the way in each year or each quarter or each month as a to-do list. What actions do I need to do? What things do I need to do today to ensure that I'm on track in 12 months time, in two years time, etc., etc. So, you know, I encourage you to take what's left of 2015, uh, stand in front of the mirror, look at yourself and think, am I happy with the position that I'm in today? And did I do a good job in 2015? If you are, go get pissed on New Year's Eve and do whatever you want. If you're not happy, I encourage you to take this time to give yourself an uppercut and you know, look at yourself and look at yourself in the mirror, look at the people that are around you, look at what you've done, look at what your achievements are, look and see you know, the place of where you're at at the moment and see what you can do and what you need to do and what has gone wrong and put yourself back on track to make sure that 2016 is gonna be the best year of your life. On that note guys, I'm gonna be out. Uh, 2000, just if you're interested, 2015 was a good year for myself. Uh, lots of cool things happening and all that sort of stuff and i have very very big plans in 2016 so keep posted and i'll keep you updated with what i'm doing and my journeys um, and all the fun stuff that i like to get up to in my life um, if you're not already subscribed 
uh, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel at youtube.com slash beinvested. Catch up soon. Have an awesome New Year's. Take care and be safe. Bye for now.